Hello everybody, welcome back to Starfield. Today we are continuing the great main story. And hello, my new Sarah. Dude, really like what Aquilus has to say. I'm going to shoot you, really. Go away. So here's our darling right here, prepared to help me and love me also. She's eager. I like her. Okay. What do we need to do? Talk to Keeper Achilles. Achilles. Talk to Vladimir more temples. Okay, let's do this one. Let's do a quick save here. And see what it's about. Keeper Aquilus? Oh my Can god. We have a moment? This guy. Oh Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh, well, what's on both your minds? A stupid hat uh, cult. Religion, whatever. Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together, uh... How we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something... Secret. Secret? Oh my Actually, god, this we guy. Talk about this inside. This guy, man. Oh my god, they deserve their hats. Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. I don't wanna. I don't wanna hear him. He has a stupid hat, I hate him. Racist against stupid hats, you know? That's me. Sorry about that. Oh. Everybody has stupid hats here. The first time I came to New Atlantis, I No, thank you. Thought it was absolutely crazy. Shut up. Ooh, how that's changed. It is beautiful armor. Oh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here? You didn't see the guys that killed everybody? We've lost people, Keeper. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And these Starborn, I take it they're different from the people of the settled systems? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. And I think I can help. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. Oh, There's thank you. There's a story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but... Maybe it's more. I understand you have doubts, but walk with me just a little bit further. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Yes. Something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. 
Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. Varun worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Sure, man. Stay with your hat today. I don't need your hat, you know? Okay. So they taking the philosophical approach to this. Talk to that, talk to that. Okay. How's my ammo? Okay. So I got almost 4k. This is my weapon to solve my uh, starbone problem. And this one does a pretty good job also. I guess. Hey there. Hey there to you too. Yeah, let's see who's the closest. Oh, this is the well. I never been here. Interesting. I've got limited resources, but I try not to turn anyone away just because they're that one? thing I want is to charge you for a DP in A and B, B and E, or heaven forbid, in MS. But at least then we wouldn't have to worry about it. Well, we run a number of social programs from financial aid to food banks. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of... Our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects... Okay, man, council, okay. But there is a series of exchanges. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no. The drift, if your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. Sure, ma'am. Where is the prisoner, though? Got some acid there. Wonderful. Uh, huh. How do I get there, though? Okay, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's to another path. 
I'm not much for prayer. Try it once. Um. There's nothing here at all. We gotta move on, I guess. I have no idea. Huh? Hmm. Let's see. What else? What else? Varun prisoner. Yeah, we talked with the house of the Nilo. What's this about? Prison, I know this place very well. What? 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 Oh, this guy. Hey, guy. I mean, madam. A visitor? I have all the company I need. Jokes. <laughs> You come to hear about Varun, like the guards, like the keeper. The great serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Everybody's saying anything. Uh, whatever. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the great serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down, but the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the great serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Wonderful. I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the great serpent casts to deceive the faithless. More crap. Then we are done. Leave me. I'm so happy that I had this conversation, you know. I found out a lot of stuff. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Yeah, coffee, man. Boy. Okay, so what's next? Okay, we gotta get back to that. The guy. Well, this is gonna be a lot of errands. Running around in circles. And then we have to skill some people. Wonderful people. And I cannot port. Why the hell I cannot port? Oh, I'm not of burden.
lives of nearly every individual in the settled systems are so heavily influenced by what goes on in this building. Tell me about it. People are taking credit, man. I mean, ma'am. All their life, they borrow money, then pay them back. I appreciate that they have not demolished the structure, even if diplomacy has ended for now. Yeah, diplomacy. In their intention, but it represents hope. Yeah, the hope, indeed. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Oh. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Exactly. Edom. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum at four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Here Before I go. You go. You've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity. But if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds a belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? Do it. They kill my wife. I don't care about your perception. So you intend to find the truth and then have that truth confirmed by your peers. Unity is a reality born of observation and agreement? Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Glad that we had that conversation. And I can uh, leave your stupid head behind me. Why can I? Oh my god, I hate this. Is there anything uh, waiting for me outside? Why cannot I port? Can I not port? I should port, you know? Anyone trying to kill me? Assassinate me? Okay, Edom 2. Let's go there. But first... Let me go to the eye and talk to that guy. About this uh, artifact.
pressure normalized and we're docked. What is this guy? Been washing red here? The spanner's torque is what the eye need. The eye is showing signs over another one of them. Okay. Just to have it activated. Sorry, girl. Sorry. Come on. Come on now. Let's go to there. Maybe it's um, close to us. I don't know. Oh, it's close, very close. Oh, that's the power, right? Okay, man. Since I'm here... Touchdown, imminent. There's a temple. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how many starborn assholes we're gonna meet here. Now they... There must be many. They're hunting me, right? No one here? Really? Must be inside. I bet. Get up. Come on, girl. Come on, come on. I know you're fast. So how many temples are there? That's stuck. Okay. This takes longer. Uh, oh, it was. 
Cross. Alien reanimation. Oh. Went all an alien beast, so it may serve thankfully. Meh. I don't know, man. Why are they so trash, dude? Horrible. I don't like them. I don't feel like um, overwhelmed or something. What is that? Oh, so it was right here next to it. Oh, I've been here. Gotta make graveyard. I don't know. Let's go there. See what it's about. Someone made a concerted effort to survive here, and yet it would seem it did not work out. It's cozy. Yeah, yeah. Yada, yada. Okay. Wait, what? Wait a second. Who's on Unity? I guess I still need to move around here, right? But it's. We take credits, yes. I don't care about that. Oh. Got a toilet and a shitter. Wonderful. To read that shit. Uh. Okay, I have no idea, but it worked. Wonderful, beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Pilgrim. I see your fate. Hyla 2. Okay. Wonderful. Let's go there. Anything else? 
Interesting, Mr. Pilgrim. Oh. EM weapon damage. Okay. If you say so. Let's move! Let's move on. Dude, I am an Imodium too. Pilot 2, right? What is though? Let's go there. I got a good ship. Can fly. Easily. But I need a better reactor, man. Oops. Deserted colony war bracks. Okay. We're locked in and landing. If you need to harvest any organic materials, now would be the time. Come then. Meet your death. You're gonna take more than that! Go get him, girl. girl. Why do you use that? And once again, we are triumphant. Girl, give me that. Hmm? Yes? What if happened to your weapon? You need, I am happy to share. What happened to your weapon, girl? Why are you using that? Calm down. Use this, girl. This is the big stuff. Okay. Got ammo. You don't have ammo. So, give you some ammo. Oh, I get it. I had some stupid ammo. Hmm. Really? Okay. Okay, girl. Now we got ammo. Use that. I mean, this is the strongest one. Yeah. Damage wise. I mean, this has a bigger range though. But this has higher fire rate. Yeah, we're gonna keep it that on you. Okay, girl. We got a level 40. I heard something. Yeah. Go. Yes, girl. Let's see. How is your damage? Not bad, though. Not bad. Oh! The fall? What 
What are you doing? Interesting. Go, girl. Yes, my girl, right there. She likes to solve the problems with a gun. Well, Sarah, you're gonna be missed, but um. Oh, wait a second. How do I get there, though? Do a quick save. Oh, I can swim. Wonderful. Microbial. Beautiful. I need to take a bath for sure. Oh, here she comes. Come, girl. Okay. You want to take a swim with me? Wonderful. Oh my god, my health, man. Oh my god. That's bad. Shit. Luckily, I saved. Didn't I? Oh, so how the hell do I get there? Now that's a problem. So I die if I swim. Can I get something? Damage resistance. Oh, speed. Should I take this one? Addiction symptoms. Damage resistance. Poisoning, radiation poisoning. Speed. I don't know. Let's see. So I'm kind of immune now. Wonderful. Okay, girl. Full speed ahead. Okay, now I'm getting... This is the way. Okay. What do we have here? Something that I don't like. Yeah. You are kind of poisonous. I don't like you. Statue. Clearly, some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? I don't know what it means, but uh, we got some bug infestation here. Don't you see her? Look at her. Shoot her. Come on, Andrea. Girl. What's wrong with you? Please be violent. Okay. Oh. Wait, 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 wait a second. This looks cool. 
and dangerous at the same time. Let me drug myself. I don't know what's inside here. Who's gonna attack me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a puzzle? Really? No idea what I'm doing here. Any sign? Maybe you gotta do this? I don't get it. Oh. I'll be damned if I understand. Thing. Noise, which I don't like. Stink. Cannot wish more than that. Oh. What's going on? Go to the last star of Scorpius constellation. Oh, okay. So that was a map. It's showing a path. Okay, okay, okay. So I cannot interact with that.
Oh my god. What the f- Wait a second. Constellation ship. You weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. You're one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Okay. I mean, I'm curious. What's that about? Wait. Seals are good. Air pressure good. And we're docked. This thing, uh... These are the motherfuckers that attack me. Dude. What is this? Hello. Again. <laughs> what? Do you remember the Emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Oh. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity, and all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. True. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Very true. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Oh. You've really come a long way since oh the my God. Constellation speech, haven't you? What? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. 
I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the hunter. Oh shit. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Dude, I was right about dimensions, man. Yep. That uh, time travel is not possible. Not how we think it is. The universe is expanding, it's not contracting, so that's a very, very obvious way how things go in this universe. Always forward, never backwards. Huh. They are all connected. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Oh. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? It means I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. What do you mean it keeps going? So... Ah, huh. that does, that does, does it mean you level your power? Interesting. So this is how you keep going to the new game plus over and over again. Every time you go to a temple, you upgrade your power. I guess. Yeah, it's an interesting take. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far, not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. You're already in it. With artifacts, come Starborn searching for them, fighting over them. I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the Unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's. Yes, let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Oh. Interesting.
Okay, let's talk some more then. The emissary and their kind only want to control you. The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. The battle royale, man. They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the unity itself doesn't judge. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary. To decide what to do about you. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No? Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> But you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the unity is finally responding to all my hard work. So... They get the pieces, they go there. Level up or something, then get to another dimension. Another universe. Which is kind of... I don't believe in it. So, I think that's how they do it. They cycle. Gather, repeat. Yeah, it becomes boring, dude. Why the hell would I do that forever? I'll just sit in one place, you know. Yeah. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Oh. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. Interesting. I like this guy, you know? Oh, okay. I'll tell you everything I can. Sure, I Sarah. Not the same people we met in our universes. Still. Yeah. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. 
everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? I don't think it cares. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Okay. She has a point. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. Hmm. Okay, I guess... What I want to know, who built this? There's no way you build this. Right? Because you're humans with just powers. You have the same fucking mentality as a normal human would. And you do the same things. Nothing new there. Just fighting over power. And... The only difference is that you do not die, I guess. Okay. What else? I need to do something else. Leave. Okay, I'll leave. Hmm. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. This thing. Well. So this is the core of the story, I guess. So you have the option to help one or the other. For yourself, maybe you can refuse becoming a starborn, I guess, at the end. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, hmm. I don't think that's kind of plausible, as they say, as a battle royale. I mean, the first starborn must be like. When the universe was... I mean... I don't know. Maybe millions? A few millions? Million years? That's a lot, you know, if I start to think about it. Well, I don't know. It's story seems okay. Uh, it's a perspective. Of existence and uh, universe, you know. Let's see how it will go. I don't know. But uh, today I'm going to stop right here. Because it's kind of late. And um, yeah, it's going to be a new ride, I think. When you're going to start the next quest. Oh, we got three. Power from beyond. Unearthed. Oh yeah, so we got three things to do. Okay, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Have a great day.
Goodbye.